Today, friends, we're going to read The Gingerbread Man again, but it's going to be in a big book where we can see words. Now, friends, remember, we learn new words. Say, away, clever, mixture, tasty. Awesome. Today, we're reading The Gingerbread Man. Author is Rosie McCormick, and the illustrator is Gail McIntosh. The gingerbread man is in bigger letters and words because this is the title. Remember, Rosie is our author. She wrote our words. And Gail is the illustrator. He drew the pictures. Now our title is The Gingerbread Man. Can you clap those words? The Gingerbread Man. One more time. The Gingerbread Man. Good job. The Gingerbread Man. And there he is on the cookie sheet. One day, a little old woman decided to make a delicious gingerbread man cookie. We start at the first word and read from left to right, left to right, left to right, from the top to the bottom. She put the cookie dough on a cookie sheet and baked it in the oven. To her surprise, when she opened the oven, the gingerbread man jumped out. The gingerbread man ran out of the house. The little old woman and her husband ran as fast as they could, but they could not catch the gingerbread man. Do you remember what the gingerbread man is going to say as he runs away? Pause here and tell us. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. A cow grazing in a field sniffed the air. The cow was eating grass in the field. The smell of ginger made the cow want to eat the gingerbread man. The cow could not catch the gingerbread man either. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. A cat sleeping in the warm sunshine thought that the gingerbread man would make a tasty treat. Not even the cat could catch the gingerbread man. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Then the gingerbread man met a clever fox. Do you remember what does clever mean? The fox was clever. Pause here and tell us. The fox pretended that he was not hungry and therefore did not want to catch the gingerbread man. The fox was so smart that he was pretending. The clever fox said that he would be happy to help the gingerbread man cross the river. As they were crossing the river, the fox said, the water is getting deeper. You should ride on my head. Moments later, the fox said, now you should ride on my nose. Before the gingerbread man could even say, Thank you for your kindness. The fox ate him every last bite. My friends, can a fox really eat a gingerbread man? Yes, he can eat a cookie or something if he wants to. Let's see what other parts of our story can really, really happen.
happen. My friends, can a cow smell a gingerbread man? Yes, remember our cow has a nose to smell. That can really happen. And my friends, can a little old lady really bake a gingerbread man? Yes, we can bake cookies. But can those cookies jump up and run? No. Can those cookies talk? No way. Can animals talk? No. Remember, this part of our story is pretend. Now, while we were reading our story, we heard the gingerbread man say, I ran away from the old man, I ran away from the little old woman, and now I'll run away from you. Can you say away? Remember, away means in another direction. In this story, the gingerbread man ran away from the cow, and he ran away from the old man and the little old woman. He was going in a different direction. If we play tag and I am running away from the person who's going to try to catch me, if I run to the person, they're going to tag me. We can run away from the person who's trying to catch us. Like the gingerbread man ran away from the little old woman and little old man. What's our word called that means to go in a different direction? Good, away. Let's see if you could play tag or show us two toys that show something going away. What is something that you could run away from?